What's good, y'all? Welcome back. Today, we're going to be reacting to GameStar. Girl, be playing games by Swoozy. Uh, I haven't reacted to Swoozy in a minute. I think the last time I reacted to him was probably about two weeks ago, maybe three. Um, and the show was funny. So, original video link will be down in the description. Let's get into the video. Here in the gaming community, just hold on, hold on. We got we to do it from the top, or did it just A lot start of guys like out here okay. in the gaming community just have a thing for girls who are into video games like our kryptonite for any of you ladies who ever jumped into a lobby and said something on the mic and every guy's like, like the <laughs> comes about you you kind of have an idea of what i'm talking about i go to gamestop one day pick out my game go to the register cute girl at the register but i play it cool and i just grab my free copy of game informer take my game and i'm out so Wait, a few weeks later new drop hold on hold on pause 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 did he say did he say free copy of game informer Why does GameStop have me paying fifteen dollars for Game Informer for like however long the fuck, and it gets into my house if it's free? All right. Drop. Go to GameStop. Get to the register. Feel so slightly goes, robbed. You look familiar. Have you seen Avatar? <gasps> yeah. I'm not an Avatar. <laughs> Have this you seen fun. Avengers? Yeah! I'm not in Avengers either, boo. I'm sorry. Do you watch YouTube? Yeah. Are you schmoozy? What's up? Yeah! These Game Informer magazines, are they free? Because every time I come in here, I grab them. I don't see a barcode on them. No, you gotta you gotta sign up to get them. Okay. Did you sign up I was gonna say. Nope. Okay, gotta go. Bye. Go home. Oh, that nigga Twitter stole the whole magazine. Stop girl messaged me. So we chit chat for a few weeks. And then one night I just hit her up like, yo, you down for some noms or what? She's like, yeah, downs. So we go to BJ's brewery. So, uh, do you have a girlfriend and you just don't talk about her on your videos? You have a lot of stories about girls. Well, as soon as I get in a relationship, please believe my stories about girls are going to start, you know, reducing a lot. I'm not out here chasing girls. I'm too busy out here trying to get that paper, the bread, the cheddar, the yeah. money, the guap. This nigga Your already has that. You not can literally sit there and do that. What about you? You got a man or no? Yeah. Hmm. Okay. What? How long y'all been dating? Well, we're married, actually. You used to be going on what? dates with random boys from the Wait a minute. and you're married? You seem kind of young to be married. Yeah, we kind of rushed into it. We got married when we were 19. Hey, oh fuck no! He loves your videos. We like binge watch your videos together. This shit gonna get weird. I feel know it. Oh you're no! Out with me right now? No, he's out of town. And now, do y'all find that weird? Because I find that that's a little weird. Watch. You know, if my girl was out with some dude she met on the internet and didn't tell me, I might feel some type of way about that. Right? Now, I'm not crazy, right? So just to cut any kind of situation from forming, I say, listen, next time we hang out, how about I meet him? So fast forward two weeks, I go to her apartment, I meet her husband, super cool dude. We play Smash Brothers, we play Mario Party, we play Mario oh, Kart. Dope. I'm not out here trying to brag or nothing, but you know, can't this nobody surely touch won. me. So I beat them all, I went undefeated the whole night. I put both of them in a box. But you know, that's not important to the story. Anyways, we go to BJ's Brewery. Side note, BJ, step your game up, cause the food quality lately has been Ass. I thought she was gonna bring her husband. She, she didn't. It's just her. So first thing I ask when we sit down, where's Sawyer? He's out of town. Cool. Again? Um. Cool. Yo, is this dude a Russian spy? Why he always? Like, why he always, right? Like what the yeah, fuck is he doing? He doesn't really trust me. Why not? I cheated on him. I knew you were trouble when you walked in. What? Uh, you do it. You, you you do it. Woo! Yeah, me and my coworker we just got to know each other really well, and then one day after work, you know, he walked me to my car and I just cheated on him. Did he ever find out? Yeah, I told him. What? Oh, okay, that was the first time I cheated on him. Wait, okay, you cheated wait on him more than once. Whoa! Yeah, the second time, you know, I was just was an, they hired a new guy at work, and then I just. We started talking and I got to know him. These girls ain't loyal. Yo, she Did really out here. That dude? Yeah. I told him about that one. But then I so, and then I cheated on him again. Nah, her ass got the clap. She it's got the goddamn clap. Hires. I just can't stop. You've cheated on your husband. 
three times, and, and he's he still with divorced you. you? Right? Well, he thinks that if he divorces me, that I'm gonna go out here and just hook up with a bunch of dudes. Uh. Who? What? What does he Bro. think you're doing now? Are these dudes not scared? Your husband's gonna show up at work one day and mess them all up? I don't know. So I take her back to her apartment. We're there. We're talking. It's like six in the morning now. The sun starts coming up. Let me go. I'm out. Go to the door. She follows me. I turn around and I go to hug her goodbye. I can't tell you guys what happened next, but let's just say here's a line and she crossed it. Like she literally took a flying leap over the line. So I'm driving you home now after happened. this just went down. But I feel like what just happened was not okay. So I get home. I text her. Probably best if we just don't talk for a little while. We can hang out, but when we do hang out, it's probably best to meet you and your husband are all hanging out in a group setting, okay? Yes. Lots of people around, lots of eyewitnesses. Maybe we can all go to church. Then one Go to church! Out. Hey, Adonde, this is Sawyer, Kim's husband. I went through her phone while she was in the shower and got your number. Wanted to reach out and invite you to her surprise birthday party that I'm throwing. Don't tell her. So I'm just gonna assume that he didn't read our last text and just went to her contacts and got my number. Cause if he read the last text, he would have probably had Oh, we finna get an ad, boys. So I'm like, ah. We finna get an ad. Boop. Welcome yep. to Fight Tank. Uh, that shit came real quick. Tank of hey, uh, I was supported, but I mean, like, shit, we gotta get this, One night get I'm this home, thing going. I get this text, I look at my phone and it's Kim. We haven't talked in like months. She sends me this text of her in the bathtub, just like her legs sticking up out the bubble bath. Yo, don't send me stuff like this. Yo, she gotta be white. Why not? Figured she was alone, so I called her. Now I can't tell her, hey, your husband's going through your phone. Then, because her next question is, how do you know? I'm in a situation yeah. where I can't let her know. This man's fucked. So I call He's her in a sticky like, hey, situation. It's just not gonna be a good look if your husband ever sees you sending other dudes pictures like that. He'll never see. He doesn't even know my password. Let's just pretend he does. Do me a favor Yo, and delete she's our previous text, okay? Her birthday comes. We all go to Dave and Buster's. I spank him some more. I'm a beast. I'm out here ending people's careers. Can't nobody beat me. One day at the Blue Random, I get a text from Kim's husband. Uh, can you just do me a favor and just stay away from my wife? He didn't sound mad. So I don't know if Kim ever deleted the old text that I told her to delete. I this man back. always got Listen, something bro, going on, man. You don't gotta explain. It's cool. I don't know if Kim has told you about our situation, but yeah, it's just she has patterns. Blah de blah de blee. I'm traveling a lot the next few weeks, so I'm not even gonna be in town, bro. You good? I'm too busy out here trying to get the paper, the bread, the cheddar, the money. Lo siento, not lo siento. If you follow me, you know when I travel, I put stuff on my story. So Kim saw that I was getting ready to fly back into town. I see you're coming back. I haven't seen you in like forever. Can I pick you up from the airport? Seems Yikes. harmless. It's been like months. Okay. She picked me up from the airport. As she's driving me to my house. This man just putting himself in bad situations at this point. Part of steering my wife didn't try to stand. Keeping my distance. She just gave me a ride. That was it. I'm assuming she was going to tell you that she's coming to pick me up. So it's not like she was thinking around behind your back. Whatever the case. He still was not happy. As soon as I finished texting him back. Kim goes, so I'm gonna divorce my husband. What? Bro, this Honestly, man I've just. Soul searching, and I think that's why I've been cheating on him so much because I'm trying to get him to divorce me, but he won't. First of all, he's a slob, okay? I don't know if you've ever, like, had why a he like who is like a slob. Why is he making her sound like that? Fuck. He comes home. He takes off his pants and his underwear and he throws them right in the middle of the living room and they stay there for days. I'm not your maid, okay? The sink, forks, knives, dishes, everything he touches just... The house is a mess. I clean it and the next day it's a mess again. I can't stand that. And when I get to the point where I can't take it anymore, I tell him, I think... We need to start talking about going our separate ways. And then he gets all apologetic. And then he worships the floor I walk on. And then he's super neat and super clean. And then as soon as he gets comfortable, the cycle starts all over again. So they're saying and they I think both I just have tired of the cycle point. constantly repeating. So as a way out, I think I just started cheating on him. So that way he would just let me go. And then he wouldn't. 
This is his last chance. I'm gonna tell him we need a divorce. He's gonna stop being a slob. The next time I see his underwear on the floor, that's it. She went back home and she did exactly what she said she was gonna do. She told him, I want a divorce. He says, no baby, I'll change, give me another chance. She gave him that other chance and literally she just like had the hammer in the air waiting to drop it. And after a while, he went back to being a slob. Boom, she dropped the hammer and yeah. finalized it. They broke up. So then he packed up all his stuff and moved. After that, she just fell off the grid. She stopped using social media. What? Every now and then she would go live on Twitch. She stopped getting on Twitch. She disappeared for like a year and a half and then resurfaced on Instagram with a picture of her engagement ring. Oh, she found my some new God. Dude, dude what? And she seems very happy with this dude. Okay. The end. P.S. GameStop, I got like 35 Game Informer magazines here. I don't know what y'all want me to do. Like, should I send these back? Can I keep them? I'm not trying to end up in handcuffs here. Yeah, bro, you're out here stealing I've been Game Informer magazines. I'm out here paying now. 15 bucks back. for them. Like, Maybe come on, dude. tweet me, let me know what y'all want to do, how y'all want to handle this, and we can go from there. Bro, I'd be shocked if GameStop like tweeted them on Twitter, like, yo, here's the ad, here's the ad he sent this shit back. <laughs> like, that shit would be funny. But, that whole story was just crazy. I don't know who was, like, I don't really know who was the crazy one, because, like, we don't really even know him. So, like, maybe both of them was just fucking weird. We don't know. We'll never know. But his stories are very well uh, written, and uh, the animations are great. So, next video he drops, we will be reacting to it. Like I said in the beginning, original video link will be down in the description. I'll see you guys. In the Use code CRY. Almost forgot. Code CRY. Item shop. I'll see you guys in the next video. I love y'all. Peace. I'ma pull up in that new thing, feeling like I'm Bruce Wayne. Yeah.